Hey guys, Noel here, and it is Saturday night, and while we have some free time, I thought it would be fun to do some more video game reviews for the video game section of the YouTube channel. The big hot topic in video game YouTubing right now is the Sega Genesis and Sega Mega Drive Mini. So I thought it would be fun for us to review a very iconic game on the Sega Genesis and Sega Mega Drive. This would be the packing game originally for the Sega Mega Drive and Sega Genesis as featured on Parker Lewis Can't Lose, quite possibly the greatest television show of the late 80s and early 90s. Uh, it is the one and only Altered Beast. Can you believe there are some people that actually don't like this game? I, I have no understanding of that. Sometimes I will hear people have video game channels and talk about Sega and say things like Altered Beast is overrated. That is the biggest load of crap, because Altered Beast is not overrated. This game is awesome, and we're going to be reviewing it right now. I'm going to hit the lights, and you enjoy this attract mode. Okay. Now, this game does a very nice job of maintaining the look and feel of the arcade version of this game, which does boast uh, more detailed sprites and enemies. However, not that much. This is a huge step up in the audio-visual department than the 8-bit Famicom and Nintendo Entertainment System. So when this game was out, it was quite the mind-blowing experience. Arcade action is now being faithfully ported to the home on a 16-bit level. Now, we have a handful of levels here where... We are zombie gladiators who Zeus has risen from the grave. Rise from your grave. And the reason he did that is because this uh, evil, bald sorcerer has kidnapped his daughter. And we need to use these orbs to transform or alter ourselves into beasts. Hence the name, Altered Beast. And we go through different transformations here. We get wolf, bear, dragon, tiger. It's just all fantastic. And no, orb, come back. Don't leave me. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, crap. So, okay, so here's how this works. Um, we have a punch. We have a kick. And we have these two-headed pig dog things here. And we have very cool music. And if we, we have to get three orbs... Each orb will make us more buff until we can't get any more buff. And that's when we alter ourselves into the mighty beast. The altered beast. Ah, oh, crap, I'm dead. No, no, don't leave me. <laughs> Come back, you stupid blue pig dog. All right, now we are the wolf man here. Not to be confused with Wolfman Jack. It's just an actual wolf man. Speaking of Wolfman Jack, he uh, was in the American version of DJ Boy. Not as cool as uh, Demon Kogure, also known as the exclamation mark, in the Japanese version. So, B will let us do a cool special move. Each uh, beast has different powers. So the bear can do like a big kind of spin dash type move, which may have served as some inspiration for Sonic the Hedgehog. Come on. Welcome to your doom. Now this is playing on the Sega 32X, which is making this game look even better. So it's playing on a Sega 32X going through RGB SCART. So this game looks just amazing. Highly, highly detailed, beautiful graphics, big, nice detailed sprites, creepy and hilarious boss here. 
like, you know, a shoe salesman if he was a demon chucking heads at you. Fantastic stuff. So he beat that boss. Round one is cleared. Now, the cool thing about this game is the cutscenes in between. They really pull you in emotionally with very nice music and stunning visuals. Oh no, Zeus's daughter is at knife point. We have to save her. If only these slug things did not jump on our heads. I got that one, so it didn't jump on my head. Power up. All right, we are powered up. This game is very difficult, uh, but it is very fun. Difficulty essentially comes from the lack of continues. If you had infinite continues on this, you would just like steam through, steamroll through this game. But with only a handful of continues, three to be specific, uh, it's very hard to beat this game. I have never beaten this game. That's not true. I have beaten this game. I cheated, though. I used Game Genie. So, since we don't have our three orbs, we can't advance. So we're going to have to cycle through this level again and get a blue pig dog. And I have the power of the dragon this time. So now I shoot lightning. I'm like Bahamut from Final Fantasy, but... I can uh, say things like ooh and ah. It really is uh, very cool to be able to do all these special moves after being so limited. It really is a power up. They get you excited to be powered up. So with our lightning shield here, we are having all kinds of fun making bad guys explode. Welcome to your doom. Welcome to your doom. Okay, so it's this eye monster here. You know, we want to get up close here. And just spam the crap out of that, and there we go. Alright, so far so good. We're not headed into the third level, but we have no lives, so this isn't gonna... I doubt we're gonna make it through this level. Oh no, he's doing some kind of evil spell here. And we have crazy gold ant men here. That look like they're trying to sell us peanuts. Come on, come on, come on. No, come back. Crap. Yeah, we have to watch out. This level here... You can uh, get punched in the face by gold demon men and then listen to this very cool jingle. Uh, so there we have it, guys. That is Altered Beast. A very fun yet very difficult game for the Sega Genesis. An arcade classic. A tale for the ages... Smooth side scrolling action, beautiful graphics, and very catchy music. So, Altered Beast is uh, definitely worthy of being a uh, pack in title for the Sega Genesis. And I'm still clueless as to why anybody would not like this game uh, because it's a very, very, very cool game. So, there we have it, guys. Until next time. My name's Noel, you take care and make sure you have lots of fun rising from your grave and beating up weird gold ants and head slug things. Bye bye.